The psychic genetic Pokemon Mewtwo gets his own amiibo figure. Hey Nintendo fans and collectors, Lithium here from my channel Nintendo Collecting, bringing you an unboxing video and of course a review of the amiibo figure Mewtwo. This thing looks absolutely amazing in its packaging, I'm pretty excited to finally get my hands on him. He is one of my favorite Pokemon because he's so mysterious, and he's been in the movie obviously from Generation 1, and the Pokedex entry for this guy actually reads, it was created by a scientist after years of horrific gene splicing and DNA engineering experiments. So obviously he's very similar to Mew, however his size and disposition are completely different. Those are taken out of the red, blue, and yellow Pokemon games for the Pokedex. Absolutely interesting character, absolutely. Let's take a look at this box packaging, of course. Great picture of Mewtwo right there, I love it. It's very iconic, he's bipedal just like humans, meaning he walks on two feet. I love the pose that he is in as well, Mewtwo's written in the background. On the back you have all that good stuff information about leveling up to level 50. Of course, you can collect all these amiibo. I think this is one of the last Pokemon amiibo we will get. I'm not sure what other characters they will announce for Super Smash Brothers, but we will see. So I have my X-Acto knife. Let's cut this guy open, which is pretty exciting. Now, this one I actually bought at a local Walmart in my region. They had quite a decent stock when I went in, but I did go in uh, early in the morning one day, and there were two other people there. So shout outs to you guys if you happen to watch this video. We were talking a little bit about it. One of them actually knew who I was, which is so strange and so weird. But it's exciting kind of picking these up, and we had to wait for a few of the other Pokemon to come, or a few of the other Amiibo to come out in Canada, a little bit later than the USA, which is weird. That's a little bit strange that we had to wait longer. And getting this guy, he's really cool. A lot of people were wondering, is he actually going to come out to the Smash Brothers game on the 3DS and on the Wii U? And it's exciting that he is coming, because I think it's definitely worthwhile having him within the game. I think he is that popular. I'm damaging this box, but that is okay. It's going to happen sometimes. Here we go. Oh, one more, and then we're good. There we go. All right, so we're going to bend this up. Actually, I didn't damage the box that badly. For all of you people that love keeping the box in great condition, keep that right there. All right, here he is, Mewtwo. Let's bust him out of this package. He is gigantic, by the way. He's really quite large. I have some garbage there on the table. Just going to remove it. Here he is. Wow, he looks absolutely fantastic, actually. It's really hard to see him. I'm just going to move the light a little bit so that you can probably get a better look at this guy. All right, so Mewtwo, he's very tall right away. I love his pose. His hands are in kind of a fighting pose. He looks ready to manipulate your mind in some way, of course. He is a psychic Pokemon. His tail looks absolutely stunning. It's curled like that, and you can't really manipulate this or move it around that much, of course. But man, the stand is clear. I really like it how it's clear. It doesn't stand out too much, especially like Link stand being bright yellow. That was a travesty. So the coloring on this guy, it's obviously just off-white and a little bit of purple, pink, depending on how you want to call the color. His eyes are quite detailed as well. You can see how he's focused on whatever he's looking at kind of on the side. His eyes do have that little purple, pink tinge to them as well. And he has ears up here as well. And he looks like he has this extra connection back here. I've never really analyzed Mewtwo that much as a figurine, especially, because I've never actually held it in my hands before. This guy is well made. He's got two toes. He's got three fingers on each hand. Of course, he kind of looks like a human because he is bipedal. Just to give you an idea for height of this guy, first, let's just do inches for all of you in the United States. It looks like he is nearly four inches tall, about 3.75 inches tall. And in terms of centimeters, looks like he is about 9 centimeters tall almost, or 90 millimeters tall. Fantastic figure. These things are getting more and more well made. I would give this probably a 9 out of 10. To a 10 out of 10, this thing's almost perfect. What would you give the score? Thank you so much for watching. Feel free to fill that like bucket. Follow me on all the social media links in the description below the video. And remember, as always, go collect them all and keep smiling while gaming. Thanks for watching, guys.